Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video, because it's almost that time of the month. That's right, it comes a time in every month where it must end, and we're, as of the recording of this video, is three days away from reaching April. So I'm going to be looking at some events that are going to take place in April in Fago that we expect in NA. And that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like. It always helps the video. And comment down below. Tell me what you're expecting for April or how your savings are going. <laughs> Which is what I expect the vast majority of people are doing. So, let's get into it. So, first of all, April 1st. I'm going to say right now, this there is going to be an April 1st event. But NA does something a little bit different. Um, they do something with the real characters, but they typically make like a little game out of it. Um, obviously, we can't go full hog as to what the JP version because they get like new apps. But usually, we get like an, a website game or something, and I expect something similar to that again, which should be nice. I always like the April first Rio stuff. I think it's really neat. So look forward to that. But there's nothing really related to it other than it's on April first. <laughs> and next, we have hunting quests. Those are coming in. This is where you can really tell that uh, not a lot of content was going on, because here we go, hunting quests. <laughs> There's some limited missions related to it, so clear hunting quests to get some apples and stuff. Uh, in terms of the actual hunting quests themselves, it's going to be Bandit Hunt, which has an increased chance of getting her Heroes Proof. We got books that can get you pages. Oh, and feathers by the end. Oh, why well, I didn't even look at the Pride Plus. Oh, and feathers as well. Nice. Uh, and then the next day, the giant hunt. Uh, we get giant rings and also chains, which is cool. Manticore. Uh, you get the primordial lingo. I never know the name of this thing. The Idris and the Idrisil seed. Giant demon boar hunt. You're gonna get boar stuff, and you're gonna get dragon fangs, and you're gonna get cursed beast uh, catalyst. But I don't think that's what it's called. It's like Chotalist or something. It's something silly. And then on Cerberus Hunt Day, you can get a chance of getting Comet Shards and the Magatama, which is probably the only day I would actively farm. For the most part, I don't farm these anymore because we don't need to. We have the shop. And I can do that pretty easily, but if you're someone starting off, maybe this is a better <laughs> look into investment stuff for you. I'm, like, so full up from just, like everything so i don't really need to do this unless i want to do it and for the most part i usually choose not to do it but occasionally i'll step in here if i need some of the stuff and i see something i could potentially need and yeah you can get the tri uh hook size trial quest as well it looks like this is related to that and there will be a leveling campaign for tamamo hokusai uh shiohime and inshin so there we go because this is the actual a banner related to it, which is Spring and Full Bloom Summoning Campaign. Here we go. This is going to have Tsumamo on it. It's going to have Hokusai. It's going to have these two dudes on it. And they're also going to get Strength Endings, all of them. Not all of them, my bad, two of them. <laughs> and yeah, uh, Tsumamo is pretty cool if you don't have Castoria, because you can use her with a friend, Castoria, and be uh, pretty well off. Uh, Hokusai, I also really like her, but I've never been able to get her. She's a pretty good art slooper from what I can tell and from what I've used from friends. And Shiohime and Ishin are cool dudes. That's all I have to really say about them. It's going to be up to you if you want to summon, for, but for the most majority of people, they are going to choose not to summon. But if you're someone who's a big fan of these two, and they are featured on the, G, uh, the, GSR, on the SSR banner, then go nuts. Good luck. Next, Servant Strengthening Quests, a.k.a. The Day. So, we're going to get Servant Strengthening Quests. It's going to go Vlad. It's going to go Ra Ramna. I was going to call him Ramna. Rama. Um, Kojiro, the savior of France. Quetz. Quang. Uh, Moriarty. I'm pretty sure I just completely fucked Qu Yang. Quinn. Forgive me if I said it wrong. I don't mean any offense by it. Um, and uh, Booby Lancer, Lancer Ulter. All dudes who have good, that would need buffs of some kind. Unfortunately, this buff also kind of really flies in the face of Galatea that just kind of released because that just makes him, I think, better than Galatea. But I digress. Really cool strengthenings. And of course, 
there's a banner related to this. Man, I'm not going to be able to summon on this banner because it's such a bad idea for me, but it does have Quetz on it, and that always means there's a part of me that just wants to always throw stuff on it. She's definitely that unit for me. Is that I, I, I have terrible self-control when it comes to Quetz, <laughs> even though I know for a fact there's a way for me to get a free copy of her coming up pretty soon. My brain doesn't see that logic. So, yes... All those dudes will be featured up if they're at SSR, Moriarty, Vlad, and Quetz. All dudes that very rarely get, I want to say, rate-ups of any kind, so a good chance to try and get them. And then we're going to start the Fago Waltz in the Moonlight pre-campaign, which is really funny because we never got the the app for this, I don't think, anyway. Um, you'll be able to get some login gifts, which are nice. You'll have some bonus servants. It's not really much of anything. It's just kind of the pre-campaign. Uh, there's a summoning campaign related to this. The cool thing about the Grail Live is that there's a free character in it. Obviously, that's pretty cool. But there's also just a whole buttload of costume dresses. One for each of these characters. Mash, Helena, Altera, Hassan uh, for Serenity... Or just Serenity, Maeve, Naito, Tamamo Cat, Yuriel, Shuten Doji, Nero, Ushiwakamaru, and Jean. All cool. Basically, everyone got it but Jean Alter, uh, Skahawk, and Okita. I think those are the only ones that were left out. <laughs> Pretty cool, though. Can't wait for this one. There's also going to be a banner related to it, I think. Where's the banner? There it is. Summoning Campaign 1. This is going to feature Miss Crane. Miss Crane looks cool. And it's also going to be in featuring Maeve and Altera. So, things to keep in mind. And yeah, that's basically what it's going to look like for April. A pretty interesting month. I can't, I've can't. i been waiting for Grail Life for a while now. I think I have a vast majority of those characters in the, with the, sh the costume dress. So I'm really waiting for it. Uh, in terms of summoning, except for the fact that I can't control myself in front of Quetz, I don't really see myself summoning that much. And we're pretty close to the day. The day of reckoning is almost upon us. We're almost at Lost Belt 6. Uh, not much time left to try and catch up to the story. And the big day basically coming up. But it's not only that, it's... Yeah, it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be rough because anniversary, her, it's all gonna be a big ass blur. Oberon, it's gonna be. There's also the return of Castoria over here. If you're someone who does not have her, <laughs> honestly, the upcoming months, again, there's gonna be a lot of lulls, but you gotta take those and kind of just accept them for the time being, because God, you're gonna be praying that you have enough when the day comes. But yeah, looks like a pretty easy month. Actually, it seems like a lot of stuff to kind of do, even though for a vast majority of it, stuff like Hunting Quest and Servant Strengthening, it kind of depends on if, one, Servant Strengthening depends on if you actually have the Servants. And Hunting Quest also, I think, depends on if you actually have the need to do a Hunting Quest and stuff like that. So in theory, you could either be doing a lot this month, or you could be doing almost next to nothing until Great Life comes out. It all depends on you. But that's it for today's video, everyone. I'll see you guys in the next one. I have to get back to work. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Goodbye.